everyone, I hope you're well. So as on the title, I am doing a Primark and Poundland haul. I popped there today. Um, obviously we have come out of lockdown, we're in tier two and just popped to Primark, haven't been there since summer and just wanted to see if I can pick up some extra bits if, um, you know, just adding to my stocking filler list and whatever, just, you know, basically finishing off my Christmas list uh, of stuff that I need. And then I popped to Poundland as well and had quite a su successful shop, which I'm really happy about. So I thought I would share it with you. Um, Primark are doing like, I don't know if they've done this before, but they have so many like Christmassy decorations. So I'm gonna start off with those. Um, and they were so cheap. They had such, some really lovely like ornamental things as well. Um, yeah, you could easily get sucked into just buying loads of new Christmas decks and whatever. But I bought a few bits, which I probably shouldn't have. But um, yeah, I actually saw this and thought it would actually be nice to keep up all year round because it's not necessarily that Christmassy, even though it's kind of like a reef. But these things are kind of quite popular now to kind of leave up. So I bought this. This was like a metal um, sort of fake foliage reef. Um, it has the, the gypsophilia and a little bit of, um, what's this, eucalyptus around it and it's a metal it's actually a proper metal frame with just a little bit of um string attached to it this was six pounds and i just thought it would it's just really sweet really simple quite a classic looking kind of reef um obviously you could move it and you could put it on its side you could put it like this you could put a little candle in the middle if you wanted to kind of add your own touches to it um i just thought it was a really nice reef ring and I will probably leave it up all year round. I want to find a nice spot for it, maybe in the kitchen, because I think it would go quite nicely. Um, so yeah, that was six pounds. And like I said, they've got some really nice Christmassy bits in. I did pick up this little elf. <laughs> he was two pounds 50. I'm actually gonna put him on my little shelf in the kitchen. We have quite a traditional um, kind of Christmas theme, like red, green, gold. Um, so I just thought he was so sweet. He had a little, he's got a little bell. And um, yeah, he just sits on a ledge. And they had a few different ones of those. They had um, a gingerbread one as well and reindeer. And then I also picked up um, some of these kind of retro style um, little decorations that you hang on the tree. They're kind of like paper. Um, yeah, they're £1.50 for the pack. Uh, and then I got red and cream. They're just gonna go. And I just think they kind of look quite classic and different. I just don't have anything like that for my tree. Um, moving on, I got myself some new face masks. I saw these and I thought, oh, I could do with some more. It's always good to have more masks. So I got this pack of two for £2.50. Really love the colors. I got myself some, I don't know if these are gonna fit me, super stretch, skinny, kind of black. Um, trouser jean things these were 10 pounds um i got these for work just because i kind of need something with pockets and i just need something more comfortable so um yeah i bought those for work but they actually are really nice quality really kind of super soft and they've got a little bit of stretch in them which i quite like um i also picked violet up some leggings they uh, wear their PE kits to school. She's desperate for some like basic leggings. These were only two pounds each. I got her this gray pair and a navy blue pair. Just staples really. And then I went in for some bras. I am honestly desperate for some bras. I've literally been living in nursing bras, sports bras for this past year. And I'm at the point where I just want something a little bit nicer. I am so unsure about my size though, so um, I'm hoping these are going to fit. But these were a pack of three for eight pounds. It's got the kind of mauve colour, white, and then black. Um, these are just the basic t-shirt bras. I used to, used to always buy the t-shirt bras, but not usually the ones with the lace on them. But I just thought they were just a little bit nicer. And um, I'm hoping they're going to fit. And then something else I bought myself is some of these really lovely, soft, cozy, super soft pyjamas made using recycled materials, which is always good. These were £12. I got them in a size small. And um, 
yeah a lot of primark pajamas come in like you buy the top and you have to put trousers i love the fact that it just comes as a set and it's not too expensive they are just super soft and they're kind of like this cream marley sort of effect they did this in a gray and a pink as well i picked up some of these cotton pads they were 50p and then this kind of cream roll neck this was six pounds i got it in the size medium again they did this in lots of different colors like a sort of burgundy color black um yeah super stretchy i don't know if it's going to be sheer might have to wear a, like a vest top underneath but yeah i just thought it was quite nice um a little bit different and then the last two items i actually got for alistair so i have i don't know if you're gonna see this before the other videos but i've already pre-filmed the kids like what i've got the kids for christmas i haven't added these in obviously so i've just pick these up for Alistair because there's just a couple things on my list that I thought he could really do with right now like this essential so he's had a dressing gown that one that he's got for three plus years it's way too small the sleeves are up here it's a marvel one it's just tiny on him I think it might even be aged like seven to eight um and he wears it all the time but he he definitely needs a bigger one so I was looking in the kids section they only had ages up to nine to ten couldn't find any more and I thought to myself I'm not going to go back here um my mum suggested going into the men's sizes you know like the men's section but like you can get the extra small and the small they only did the dressing gowns in small medium medium large or large extra large so i ended up getting small medium this is a playstation one I don't know if you can see that there was only one pound difference in between uh, like a playstation one and just a plain gray one so i thought i might as well just pay an extra pound and i know he's going to be happy with it although he doesn't have a playstation you know it's like it's like gamer style tops and whatever anyway so this was 16 pounds um it's a really lovely soft um dressing gown it's one thing that he really needs so i'm so glad i picked that up because it's just something that he is going to use and then also in the men's section i found this hoodie in the extra small it's a actual like proper playstation hoodie I know he's going to appreciate it. I don't really like it myself. It's just, but it's just what he will like. Like he loves wearing this grey and black hoodie that he has. So I think he will love this. So um, yeah, and men's extra small, I would say, is kind of a perfect size. A little bit oversized, kind of age twelve to thirteen, I would say. Would probably not far off fit me. So that is everything I got from Primark. Now I'm gonna quickly show you a few bits that I got from the pound store. So I picked up this headband for Violet. It says fa la la la. Um, I thought she'd like that, especially if they're having, they're having like a Christmas meal and they can wear their Christmas jumper. So I think she'll probably wear that as well. I got the kids a candy bean cane each to go um, in their stockings. And then I also picked up the velvet ball balls. These were this was a pack of twenty four for two pounds, which I thought was really reasonable, um, and just something different to go on the tree. Really, I have a lot of the same ornaments. I also picked up this for Miles. We had we do have an elf. We don't do elf on the shelf or anything, but we do have an elf that we just kind of prop around the house. Um, but they had loads of different types, like different hair colours, red hair, blonde hair. Um, yeah, just a bit more diverse really, which is really, really nice. So he's got little sticky arms as well, so you can stick him to things. Um, but yeah, looks like that. He's got little blonde hair and um, yeah, he was a pound and he loved holding him walking around. I also picked up a few bits. I'm going to be making my own wreath this year, which is what I usually do, but I'm just going to do it on my own. Um, so my mother-in-law gave, gave me the Oasis because she does a lot of flower arranging. So I just picked up some bits that I can actually stick on it. I didn't really know what to get to be perfectly honest. I wasn't too sure of the theme as such, but I picked up the berries because can't go wrong with red berries and if i don't use them on the reef i can maybe place them in my garland around the um fireplace or whatever i could even put some 
on here just to make it a little bit more festive um i've got some cinnamon sticks they were a pound some of the poinsettia flowers uh they were four for a pound some of the wire so you can attach the stuff um some oranges i know you can make these yourself but it's just easier 10 10 for a pound and also i picked up two sets of lights these are like berry lights um again these were a pound each white and the red you can see those they kind of look a little bit snowy which i really really like i also picked up some salted caramel matchmakers i've never seen those before but they just sounded so good and then lastly oh no actually some red um kind of ribbon i think i'm gonna make a nice little bow or like a big bow to go at the top of the reef and then lastly some of the elf vanilla flavored marshmallows for hot chocolates so um yeah that was my haul i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope it's giving you some little ideas if you're still looking for those extra stocking fillers or you just need some ideas because i have struggled so much this year um but yeah i hope you're well and safe stay tuned to some of my other christmas videos coming out very very shortly and um hope you're well and i will see you in my next video mm -hmm.